Welcome back to Sax Thought Farm. We are just returning from selling some more strawberry jam, and I've missed the turn in, but never mind. Uh, we made eighteen thousand two hundred and four pounds. The other thing I've done is we've swapped trailers yet again. Um, this one is auto load. Uh, for bales but it also has straps so the other one's gone and at the moment we are leasing this one um, with a view to purchasing it so let's get that part up there and beacons off engine off and out right today we are gonna be harvesting our barley there we go get in there and that on so we've got the new holland it is a new holland harvest isn't it yes it is down at the field already so just need to head down there now with a trailer and yeah oh i'm um still getting used to that's gonna sound weird um had some new headphones for christmas and i think it's because they're new or what they just seem to really block out the surrounding noise and that i don't think they're intended to do that. it's probably just pretty probably a bit of a snug fit on my big head at the minute but uh yeah it's um i can hear myself talking like through them that makes sense it's a very hard thing to describe um, right we can lose super strength we don't need any more lifting capability today right let's get this unfolded fire up and make a start now this is not going to take us long but interestingly and not necessarily going to do them we are getting harvesting contracts alongside the Farage ones. <laughs> the old Farage contract. Um, sheep are all good. Um, could do with a little bit of topping up, but overall they are fine. Producing the wool nicely and not too far off. We've got two more months um, and we'll have some more lambs these are 37 percent through towards puberty so all good right and do we want the straw yeah i think so have we got i can't remember if we're chopping or not let's get on there press the right button we'll see anyway when we get going right power up set cruise control to a decent amount and off we go are we dropping straw yeah look at that so hopefully this is going to be a relatively quick job we should get it bailed today as well and then we'll see what is next for us i'm guessing I don't think we've got anything else ready to harvest actually at the minute no we've got the canola which is next month and was that oats we put in there so yeah nice steady job no massive rush and we can just plod along and look at those fantastic yields well not even once around the headland aha the yield is rather good if i do say so myself very green dark green for uh, most of it so far i guess that'll change as we get into the body of the field but yeah can't beat uh, can't beat a nice dark green on the yield monitor there we go pull up 
super duper back here up a touch engine off for now <sighs> and breathe right i was going to look in the sales because obviously we've moved through a few days now um so what have we got we've got a cultivator possibly don't need a sprayer or a truck i don't think we need a a, a vineyard subsoiler and that is 550 horsepower this is a thousand pounds 550 horsepower um that is mildly tempting because then we could go and do our own cultivating contracts all right we are borderline on power we've got about what have we got as our maximum 313 305 I reckon the new Holland would pull it. Yeah, let's go for it. See how many hours has it done? 32 months, 28 hours. Uh, 10 and a half meters. Yeah, come on. We'll set up, we'll leave everything as is. We don't want a plate. Buy that. Super. Now, next question. <laughs> Is there anything it could be doing? Oh, ho, 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 yes. Field 38, £17,476. Right. Uh, so, first things first. Engine off. We'll come back to harvest. We need to get this one. There we go. And happens so handily. <laughs> The old store delivery point is there. There we go. Let's get that attached to that. Super. We we will repair it. Just because I'm guessing the only thing that's going to be affected by that is by the repair gauge is operating speed. There we go. Put that there. Where is the trigger? There it is. We'll repair the New Holland. We'll repair the weight for two quid. Thirteen hundred pounds. Jobs are good in. So if we now pull this forward, I will set it up to go and do its thing on course play. And then we can crack on and uh, proceed with the harvest so just checking everything down here there we go that actually suits that uh, new holland tractor pretty pretty well to be fair like it right so that's that unloaded again let's get this little triangle all cut and then we can probably just thinking we need to do another headland top and bottom and that should be enough then to allow us plenty of turning space now i won't matter to you but i've knocked the uh the volume right down i am um, feel myself getting a bit of a headache which is not so good we don't want that um first week back at work <laughs> and it just feels like i've never been away <laughs> so tired i don't know what it is and it was talked about over christmas it's like that first day back and uh or that the night before the first day back is always a horrendous sleep and then full day's work after doing not a lot um, over Christmas and you just feel awful so tired so so tired I could literally just close my eyes now and sleep <laughs> and it's nowhere near bedtime 
So yeah, first world problems. I know, I know this work malarkey. But at least we're back farming and uh, recording and getting the content back out there again. And I think the plan will be like court farm on a Monday, Saxthorpe Wednesday, Fairhead Friday, uh, just because it's like Fairhead Friday, um, and then multiplayer with Disturbed on a Sunday as long as we can both um, get organised and get the time to do it we've been pretty good lately we've done really well <laughs> um, but yes oh I uh, haven't put my merch on yet on this one <laughs> he, uh, this he or she cat's mother um, very kindly put my hoodie into wardrobe plus um, with my logo on there very nice of him so I need to remember to change to that outfit on here at some point you'll see a little bit of a a jump in the straw down this end um, I was merrily running away on VCA and then we clipped the uh, bund on the side of the field and started to miss the actual crop in the field so I had to come off and do it manually but never mind but what are we 76% full already we are going to need a bigger trailer haha but jobs are good and so I reckon we will get to that corner so we stick the old cruise control back on bump over the straw now what I might do is once we've done this headland finish this run down to this end of this headland uh, I'll grab the baler we'll get the headlands baled and cleared just to give ourselves plenty of space to turn oh, I'm not sure if we're going to make it to the end place your butts now no we are not Ooh, there we go back up a bit right what we'll do is pipe out how much we got here 79 percent if we top this off we can go and dump this in the silo grab the baler and yeah clear the headlands and then crack on and uh, finish the up and down rows so headlands all bailed and cleared onto our new trailer 21 bales on there so far and it's going to sound really daft but I love how they stack um, sort of go lengthways and then the space at the back they put one across and 21 is only 47 percent so we are going to get significantly more on a trailer which is good um overall really we won't have to make as many trips so i am very pleased with that there we go get the straw to stop and we will 34% yeah we'll do a cut in I reckon so I mentioned getting a headache ah, I did have to stop um, very unlike me to be fair I don't normally get anything like that but yeah all good now all good in the hood so we got the, the New Holland is still going uh and doesn't seem to be struggling um, with lacking that 20 horsepower, I think it was. Was it 20, 25? Checked on it, and it's still pottering around at 11 mile an hour, so jobs are good in there. And I think that's going to come in quite handy, really. Um, it'll pay for itself, well, relatively quickly, because we won't have to keep borrowing 
equipment and then in the future after the if we do a corn have we got corn in the ground anywhere i don't know if we have or not um and we have to plow we can cultivate ourselves without having to lease so yeah a decent uh, a decent purchase i feel there so again filling up rather quickly nice dark green color wait for the straw to swap and spin round i do love vca <laughs> nice wide turn and lower back down still trying to get used to using <laughs> the side panel it's just there and it's mapped but it's just remembering to move my hand away from the keyboard and mouse and try and use that where possible so what are we 80 something percent i was going to put the beacons on then but there's no point because we haven't got uh auto drive set on the voucher so we'll go until we are full don't think we're going to make it to the end the way it's going who knows find it very difficult to judge but it's nice seeing the dark green and just got a slight swath through the middle mid in through the middle through the middle stop where that's me not concentrating where we've obviously got a different soil type so auger out Maltra will go this way around I haven't actually checked how much barley we've got in the silo at the minute but this should go quite a way to helping us towards the old grain grist we do need to sort out a mill at some point probably sooner rather than later depending on wheat levels but yeah quite pleased with how we're getting on in fact let's have a quick look at time saving stock check so we've got 36,000 litres at the minute with another 20 something going to be in this trailer so we're looking all right to be fair now we do use more wheat than anything else so we need to keep an eye on harvesting contracts but for now we will crack on and uh, push through with our field of barley so i've just unloaded a full load of uh, barley and i noticed that we haven't got the back door on so the barley comes to about here i hope you can see the cursor yeah you can um so what we need to do is add the uh standard uh, plus the door extension for 100 pounds now what oh, we can oh. <gasps> oh that looks nice 385 quid rather rather uh decently priced but we'll leave it as that for now and we can have to reattach and get back to the field so yeah just want to show you that um it didn't look right <laughs> so yeah thought we'll have a look to see if we can change it but onwards finish the field now what i'm thinking is that we've got what four minutes just under on the cultivating contract we are not far off finished with the harvest in here we've probably got i don't know three maybe four passes left get the baling done get the bales picked up we might look to take one of the contracts now i think there's a barley one and an oats one so we shall see now there's only 693 liters in the combine so we'll leave that for now oh yeah we've got one probably two passes here i think two there so four and a bit passes um but yeah we might then look to uh 
take a contract. We shall see how we are getting on. Or time. Right. Turn her on. And go. So I will see you when we are very, very nearly done. So last pass. And it should all quite easily fit in the hopper on the combine which is nice i've just been driving over to the trailer over there and dumping in looking at the contracts there are three harvesting ones available now which two which are a reasonable size move forward a bit more there we go turn that off let's just spin around and back up um I think though for today we're just going to bail this lot get it collected and that should be enough the cultivator cultivator the cultivating contract is finished so we can hop in and collect on that that's a lovely job there we go Anything else that's new? Oh, what was that popped up? Foraging ones. Now, I'm tempted to leave these because hopefully in the coming months they will then transfer into harvesting ones. But there's, you can see there's two decent-sized one and a tiny little one. Where's field 44? Field 44 is... 43, 44. Oh, look, a dinky one. Hey, down the road. <laughs> we'll see how we go for time. Let's put it that way. Right. Auger in and hold that. No. I don't want to, because it'll just put the tow hitch through the trailer. Let's think about this, shall we? We will. Unfold there, lower it down and disconnect, hold the combine, get that attached and just pull it out of the way. I am very, very pleased with the yield off of that field. There we go, couldn't really. I've asked for better, so let's put this somewhere out of the way. There we go. Don't need to worry about compaction <laughs> at the moment. Right. So, oh, sounds a bit uh, rusty. Right, we'll get this lot tipped, and then we'll grab the baler and uh, get this straw baled up and collected. So baling well underway and we are spitting out bales like no business to be fair. It's uh yeah, obviously the straw yield is linked to how well the crop is grown, quite clearly. Silly thing to say. Um now, just thinking cash wise, <laughs> as I'm always uh as I'm always doing, um, price for straw at the minute is up by the look of it. £60. And then I was also looking at the grass silage. And that's 50 quid off ish being the best. So it might be that if we are in need of a little bit of money. We could sell a couple of loads, maybe, maybe one load of the silage earlier, I guess. Um, and that might well fund uh, the grain mill. And we need, we've got running costs. We need to pay the loan as well, which sits at 47k. Oh, goodness, only two grand a month. So it's not too much of a, a hardship at the minute we can well afford that um obviously get it cleared as quick as possible would be beneficial 
Uh, I'm not sure what to do with the straw. Whether we just sell it straight away now off of the field or not. Let's have a quick look at what the best price is. 89. Mm. Might be worth waiting a little bit on missing loads. We'll come back up that pass, I think. So, yeah, it's quite wide swath. So, I need to be bang in the centre, really. But it's no real hardship. Ah, that's good. The New Holland is back. After making it, making us some money. So, I think what I'm going to do is... Probably, I'm just thinking, could maybe do with feeding the sheep a little bit, um, just to keep them topped up so it doesn't become um, an overly long task to, to keep them fed. I think it's easy just to do it bit by bit. So we'll get that done, probably off camera. So we may well be into the afternoon of July 1 for the next episode. Um, and yeah, we'll see what we can get up to. I'm tempted to do one or two of the contracts because obviously the extra crop would come in handy, as would the cash. So yeah, that might be something for the next episode and just uh, yeah, keep the old uh, bank balance topped up. So after scratching around the field to get another full bale, um, it was definitely worth it. I think uh, we got just about every bit of straw. Um, but yeah, it was good because it's got us another full bale. So a tiny bit of what's 60 times 8,500. No, 8.5. Not doing the math, but you can work it out. It's a good little, good little. Well, it was worthwhile doing. Let's put it that way. I'm rambling, but look at how this trailer loads. It is absolutely brilliant. I love it. This popped up on Modpub not long. I think it was one of the last ones to release um, before Christmas. Um, and being in the market for a decent trailer, I thought we'd give this one a whirl. And uh, I'm very glad we have, to be fair, because I think it's going to hold 44 bales, I think. Um, and it has the straps. So we can transport our jam and clothing once... Uh, once we get sorted with it. Now this is... Oh, are we going to have one left? <laughs> oh, there's me being greedy, getting that one extra bale. Oh, dear. But, I mean, look at that. And I guess that's quite possibly... Can we strap that lot? It just straps down there. Oh, you know what we could do? GT McCheaterson. We go get that look. And what we do is we put it in there, rotate it round, and we hide that in there. <laughs> we get in and we strap it down. Uh, so, yeah, I love that bell trailer. It is going to stay. Um, we'll carry on just leasing it, I think. It's not going to be a massive amount. Um, and we may. We may look to purchase it in the future. But um, yes, I think that's it for this episode. Thank you very, very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.